Hello and welcome back to episode 67 of the Tube Buddy Express podcast. My name is Dusty Porter, the host of this wonderful show, the YouTube certified expert. No, I'm not going to call myself an expert. Who am I kidding? You guys are the experts, and I'm so glad you've decided to come back for another episode of the Tube Buddy Express podcast, where each and every Friday I release a new episode somewhere around 8 to maybe 12 minutes, hopefully an actionable tip or strategy that can help you uh, provide you more strategy strategies and, and tips and tools to take your online video content specifically on YouTube to the next level. So with that being said, as you can tell by the title of this show, Tube Buddy Express, we're brought to you by the Swiss Army Knife tool of YouTube creation, Tube Buddy. It is a free browser plugin with tons and tons of features with more being added each and every month. So much cool stuff coming down the line end of this year. Next year is going to be awesome for Tube Buddy. So if you haven't already, click the link in the show notes, download the plugin. I promise you, you will not regret it. You will be thanking me later like hundreds of other people have done over the past year and a half. Now, with that being said, if you go over to iTunes, you can subscribe to the podcast. That way you get notified each and every week via your podcast player every time I release a new episode. Um, also, I've got two shout outs to do this week. If you leave us a review over there on iTunes, trying to get 25 by the end of the year and we're almost there we're nine we are nine reviews away so the first review comes in from george diaz he says this podcast has helped me get motivated to start my channel the kiwi talk now that my channel is up and running i can never repay dusty for the information he has given me yes you can just keep creating content he says thank you download now keep up the good work george Absolutely, man. Thank you so much for the positive review there over on iTunes. And the last review coming in this week is from Zing Cat. I just discovered this podcast and it's a wonderful resource for YouTube creators. My channel called Zing Cat is a bit different than many because we use puppets and puppetry to tell our stories. So finding those unique ways to promote and tag and position our odd little channel is invaluable. I would recommend this podcast to anyone who wants to take their YouTube channel to the next level. I'm going to have to go check that out. Zing Cat. X-I-N-G-C-A-T. Uh, anything with puppets and puppetry and all of that stuff, that stuff just really interests me. It's very intriguing. So I love YouTubers that are doing different things. And it sounds like the guys over at Zing Cat are doing just that. Now, today I'm going to be talking about three or four, uh, maybe a bonus one at the end. Again, I always say three or four, then I give you guys more than what I say. So I don't want to you know, lie to you guys. But anyways, I'm going to be talking about tools to help you get stuff done as a creator. Tools that will help you stay on track and keep you in line and to do what you need to do to get the most out of your valuable time, especially if you're doing this as a hobbyist and someone who isn't doing this full time. So the first tool I'm going to be discussing today, I'm looking at it right now because this is how I lay out each and every episode of any podcast I do. It is called Trello. T-R-E-L-L-O. Now, all of these tools I'm going to be mentioning today do have premium versions. Uh, for all of these, I do subscribe and have purchased the premium versions. You do not have to. They are not sponsors of the show. The free versions will do everything you need to do everything I talk about in today's episode. So with Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O, what I love about all of these apps that I'm going to be talking about today is that there's a web version, a mobile app, and a lot of times a desktop app as well for Mac and Windows and whatnot. So with Trello, uh, I normally, you know, when I have an idea, I can open the Trello app and basically put down the information. Now, what Trello does is it segments different things. It's not a to-do list. I mean, it's somewhat a to-do list, but basically uh, it allows you to create these things that are called cards. So you have cards for specific ideas, or in my case, I have one card per episode or one card per YouTube video. So what you can do is you title the card YouTube video idea one, right? So whatever your video idea is, and then below that, you'll put little bullet points on that card of what you need to get done. You have the script, you have the actual production of the video, you have the audio, you have the video side of things. So you put all of that in a card, which is how I break it down. And then as you progress through that, you can check them off. And that way, you know, if you've done everything, what I like to do is set up a Trello checklist, something that you can do through TubeBuddy as well. Uh, you just have a checklist of things you want to do for every single video. Uh, and then you can break it down like you have different categories. Like I have the YouTube creator subcategory. I have the personal category. I have the wedding videography category, which is another part of my business. Um, I have the YouTube category, right? Which is what we're talking about today. And the beauty of this is that it can be shared across 
different people. So you have the different boards, which is what I was just talking about in categories. And then within those boards, you had the different cards. Now, if you share a specific board with other people via email, uh, they can see it on their Trello and they can mark it off. So what I do is a lot of times if I have an editor working with me or uh, Joanne, my, my admin person, uh, her and I will be sharing specific cards and she can go and basically let me know by checking things off and I can see, oh, it looks like Joanne has marked this off this specific card. So Trello is a great way to not only help you yourself stay in line, but it's also a great way to collaborate with your team members and partners uh, with, with different people and different tasks that you're wanting to get done. Uh, the next one I want to mention is uh, something called Todoist. Now, this is an app T-O-D-O-I-S-T. -O -O so again, this app also has a um, Mac and Windows version. It has a web version um, as well as a mobile app. Now, what I love about Todoist is it is very simple and it is, it is for me, the most elegant way of doing a, a to-do list. Now, a lot of people, especially creative people, they don't want to take time to make a to-do list. A lot of times they don't want to journal and things like that, which I think are very beneficial. For me, Todoist has helped me because of how simple it is. It's not very flashy. It's got ways to tag your to-do list. It's got ways to basically uh, set up different categories categories of to-do list, but for me, it's just the simplicity of using Todoist for me has really helped me. And you just click the little circle or checkbox when you're done with the task and it just goes away. So it's got like your inbox, which is every task from top to bottom. Then it has today. So things that have to be done today. So you can schedule when a task needs to be done. And if it's coming up that specific day, it'll come up under your today list. That's probably my favorite feature is that if I need to publish a video today, or if I need to interview someone today, that will be on my checklist. Like right now I have like the repurpose.io setup, which I'm getting set up on my YouTube channel, which I talked about last week uh, that needs to be done today. So Friday, November 10th, I want to have that done before the end of today. So again, that's probably one of my favorite features of this specific thing. And then you have different projects. Like I had the wedding videography project. So, it's, you know, for example, under this project, I have build and improve upon the website, create a questionnaire for the bride and the groom marketing material, pricing sheet, blurb for websites. Now, none of these really have due dates. These are just things that I need to get done for my wedding videography business. So I have, the, I have, I have basically a running task list of things that I need to have done for a specific project. So I could do, uh, I got one here that's movies and TV shows to watch. So people who've told me these movies are really good, these TV shows are must watch. Like right now, Stranger Things season two, duh, right? I haven't even consumed that yet. I need to do that like to yesterday. Uh, but again, Use this, use Todoist, and I promise you, if if people tell me all the time, oh, to-do lists are just so cluttered, I really don't feel like they're useful, Todoist for me has really helped me take my efficiency to another level. Now, the last one's pretty self-explanatory. I talk about it all the time. I'm an evangelist for this company, uh, but again, it's Evernote, E-V-E-R-N-O-T-E. -E. Evernote is that place where I keep everything right? So when I'm taking notes for a video, it's done in Evernote, right? I, I'm I, Once it's done in Evernote, I then move it over to Trello, which we just talked about. So the beauty of these three tools is they kind of all work together. Um, you know, I've got all of my car tag numbers in Evernote. I've got all of, uh, you know, different login information within Evernote. There is a ton of different things I can do with Evernote that can really help me. Like when I get an oil change, I kind of have that there. I have my bills and when I've paid them all within one little notebook in Evernote, you can mark them as important. You can have them on a timeline if you want to be notified about something. You can use the Apple Pencil or different styluses on your, your tablets and, and, and jot down notes that way. Uh, you can insert pictures and images and videos and links. And I mean, it's just beautiful, right? And it has a web version and a mobile app for both Android and iOS and also uh, Mac and Windows versions as well. Evernote is just that tool that I use over and over again. And obviously the namesake of this podcast, TubeBuddy, right? I mean, seriously, I'm not going to talk about it anymore because they're a sponsor of the show. But guys, if you're not using TubeBuddy, you're probably doing it wrong because there's just so many great features within TubeBuddy. I'm going to give you one of my favorites that I've been using lately. It is the ability to see what other tags, what tags other creators are using. So um, I was doing a video the other day just specifically about how to live stream on Facebook. And I, I watched a video by another one of the streamers on TubeBuddy. Uh, his name's Owen Video. Great guy, great 
great quality video. But more than anything, he's got great content. And I went there and I was kind of going to compare and contrast the tags that he used against mine. And, uh, you know, it was good for me because I, I kind of got reassured that these are the tags I needed to use because he was using some of the similar ones as well. But that's just one of the, the, the hundreds of tools that you can use from within TubeBuddy. So again, a little recap. You've got Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O. You have Todoist, T-O-D-O-I-S-T. Evernote, E-V-E-R-N-O-T-E, and then obviously TubeBuddy. Guys, thank you so much for listening to another episode of the TubeBuddy Express podcast. We'll come back at you again a week from today. Until then, keep pressing that record button.